start off by mobilising the hips. You can either do this with the hands on the ground, which is a little easier, or to make it more challenging and a little bit more active, take the hands off the ground. Then come into your glute stretch, drop one knee down, come forward. Come into a normal glute stretch where you're scanning into different positions. Um, and then to add a little bit of strength into the glute um, once you've stretched it for a, a good period of time, once you've felt it release, you can then take that front leg and drive the leg down into the ground, and contract the glute, work up to your strongest um, contraction um, possible for 10 seconds, and then release it and then come further into the stretch. So it's working through the range. Stretching, once you find that good stretch position, drive the leg into the ground as strongly as you can, 10 seconds, and then release off, and then continue to, to work, and then you can repeat to both sides. Coming into a hip flexor stretch, opening up the body in this direction. To add a little bit of um, strength into this, on the front leg, you can then drive this foot down hard into the ground, which will contract the external rotators of the hip, and then on the back leg here, um, to help with internal rotation of this hip, you can lift this leg off the floor this way. So it's driving the foot down from the front leg, lifting the back leg, and then coming back into the hip flexor stretch to open up the tissue here. To add a little bit more of a quad stretch in, you can then take this foot off the ground, support this hand here. Stretch into the quad by bending the knee more, and you can just find a nice place um, in terms of if you want more quad stretch, more knee bend, if you want more hip, take the leg further around, and the combination of the two. And then you can also start to add in some different angles by rotating the quad, um, rotating the thigh up and down to get different angles uh, through the quad. Then into a hamstring stretch, a forward bend with the knees as bent as you need them to, to achieve a good hamstring stretch. With the legs too straight, sometimes it pulls behind the back of the knees. So find a place that's right here and fold forward. Hold for a, as long as you need to feel the release. Then you can add in some leg lifts, which will help um, bring a little bit of strength into the hip flexors. Um, and actively kind of lengthen the hamstrings and you can alternate on both sides and you can lift the legs as high as you physically can. The hip flexors will fire, but you're also actively lengthening through the hamstrings. And then into your adductor stretch, seated, pushing down, and then from here, like we did in the glutes, you can drive the knees upwards strongly to contract the adductors, and then let go of the elbows and actively contract your glutes to try and pull your knees open using your own muscles versus using your own hands. So you'd be stretching supported, squeeze hard in the upward direction, squeeze hard in the outward direction.